Hello Ratbags, welcome to another episode of Tamed. Today we're looking at the Ferrazinosaurus. Quite simply one of the most unusual looking dinosaur herbivores on the island. The Ferrazino is nearly the size of a T-Rex or Allosaur, yet yeah, it is a herbivore. These are one of the most versatile creatures you can have, whether it be for defence or for harvesting and gathering resources. Its strong razor-like claws, its strong razor-like claws can match many of the dinosaurs on the island. It all just depends on what you're actually harvesting. If you use the right trigger or the R2 button, you can see you gather wood and thatch from trees. If you try doing it on the bush, you can see you gather nothing. But it has two other attacks that also give it special gathering abilities. If you click the right thumbstick in, you can see you gather nothing but seeds and berries. And if you find another bush, if you use the LT or L2 trigger, you can actually get fibre from bushes. It's really useful, it's probably one of the best gathering creatures you can find. Although there's creatures that can get more berries in a single go, the versatility deciding what you want from it, whether it be fibre, berries or wood and thatch or even just using it as an attack animal. The only thing that slightly lets it down is that it doesn't carry much compared to some of the other herbivores that can carry lots of items. And it is relatively slow compared to some of the other faster meat eating creatures. But definitely I would get one of these as soon as you can. Simply put, the Ferrazino is OP as heck. If you want to gather resources, there is no better creature. The Ferrazino can also gather resources from creatures and is the best gatherer of prime meat and fish in the game. Surprisingly, although it seems like it moves slow, its speed is one of its better qualities. Comparatively to other dinosaurs its size, it can move relatively quick and is fairly quick in water too. Its stamina is still something that could probably be worked on. So if you are going to have one of these, I would strongly suggest building up its stamina a little bit more. Let's see what happens when we take a creature out. So every attack you do actually swings multiple times. So you get multiple attack damage compared to whatever stat you're looking at. So when comparing it against other creatures, it may look like it doesn't deal as much damage. But knowing that it does swing two or three times in every attack, it does do more damage than most dinosaurs. And you can see how much prime meat I got there from the Parasimiums. It truly is an exceptional creature to have and a valid option rather than a T-Rex or an Allosaurus. It's definitely one of the most powerful herbivores and most versatile you can find on the island of centre. You can gather silk from moths and cactus sap from cactuses on scorched earth, so that's a really good dinosaur to use on that map too. So you got your Ferrazino, he's already OP, but you can make him even more OP. If you hold the triangle or the Y button, just like the moss chops, you can change what it gathers up. It's got two options, delicate harvesting which will gather more berries and fibre or additional power harvesting which will gain more wood, thatch and hide from dead creatures. So if you're going to strictly use it just for gathering resources, you may want to put some points into additional delicate harvesting. If you're going to use it as a battle creature, you may want to put it into power harvesting. You can set it to roam and it will gather for you. And there you go, you can see it's running around, just gathering bits and bobs. One fly in your ointment might be that it's a level 60 saddle low. So you won't be able to actually ride one of these until you get to level 60 or you find one of these saddles in a loot drop. The saddle is going to need 285 hide, 160 fibre, 120 wood, 55 metal ingots. And you do need to craft it in a smithy. Its favourite kibble is a Megalosaurus egg. And you can find them mostly all around the island except for the cold north. 
Be warned when looking for one though, they do become aggressive towards players if you get too close. So although they're not a meat eater, they will still attack you if you get in its face. And just the last little quick one is you can even do torpor damage by using the LT or L2 trigger. But be warned, it is only 0.5 damage. But be warned, it's only 0.5 torpor damage for every swing. So the chances are you may actually kill your target before you knock it out. You tame one of these, uh, you would tame most other creatures, some trang arrows to it, and then feed it its favourite vegetables, mejo berries, or its favourite kibble. So there we go, the Ferrazino, one of the best creatures in the game. This has been another tame video. If you want to see more, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye!